So what's going on? What's happening? Um, oftentimes I hear this in the black community. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, we'll say something like, uh, you know, they want to be like us. They want to be black, but when it's time to be black, they don't want to be black. In other words, people want to, you know what I'm saying, take our culture. They want to, you know, do hip hop. They want to wear the dress. They want to do this. They want to do that. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes to, you know what I'm saying, standing up for blacks, when it comes to, you know what I'm saying, going against white supremacy, you know, they don't want to be black anymore. And to be truthful with you, I'm not going to lie. Like, if I was, like, not black, if I was a non-black, I wouldn't want to be black when it came to that, when it came to black issues. I just want the fun, exciting part of being black. You know what I'm saying? The cool part of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, wearing my hat backwards, you know, um, doing the, the, the pound or giving that. Because this ain't the fist pump. We created that. You understand? We created this. You know what you all non-blacks are doing right now all around the world? You know what I'm saying? We created that. This is called DAP. Or giving someone a pound. That started in the 90s. You understand? But yeah, I would want to take on all of the cool things of what it is to be black. All the creative things, you know what I'm saying? Such as hip hop, you know, break dance and all of that stuff. You know, the Japanese, I think the Chinese, they're break dancing now. You know what I mean? I, I, I take I'll take it all. A cultural appropriation. Sign me up for cultural appropriation. I'll take it. But when it comes to, you know, getting in the mix of uh uh helping black people get reparations, uh um um uh, uh, fighting white supremacy, police brutality, and all the rest of that. Y'all want me to march down the streets and sell, say, saying we shall overcome? I ain't doing none of that. None of that. Why should I? Why should I? That's real talk. I'm talking in the aspect of a non-black. Y'all, you all invited me to the cookout. I get to eat the chicken. I get the. I get the to to, to fuck your 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 women. I get to learn all of the new dances that you all create on TikTok. Y'all teach me how to rhyme and then I get a record deal and become the god of hip hop, such as your man Eminem. Why should I? Why should I, as a non-black, wanna fight and defend black people where there's no, no, what, what, what is it, what it? What do I get out of it? What do I get out of it? Like straight up, you could you could take advantage of black people, and black people don't mind being taken advantage of from other races. They won't put up with that shit with their own race. They'll shoot and kill one another. They'll feud within their own race. They'll create um, hood rules. That they only got to abide by When you go into their hood When the police goes on to, into their hood the, They ain't got to abide by no hood rules When CPA Child Protection Agency Comes into your hood And takes your children They ain't got to abide by no hood rules When these corpor corporations You know what I'm saying Or these developers rather Come into your neighborhoods And gentrify it Put up a Starbucks A uh, 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 <laughs> Man, a Whole Foods, Target, the list goes on. They ain't gotta buy by no whole, whole um, no hood rules. Ask Bill Gates, Bill Gates, or or uh, Warren Buffett, did they have to check in when they came into uh, uh, um, Atlanta? Did they have to check in when they came into Houston or Los Angeles? So hell yeah, if I was a non-black man, I'd take, please, i take full advantage of black people because black people don't mind being ran over. And it's true. I seen it the other day on TikTok, not TikTok, Instagram. I think it was on TikTok and then they put it on Instagram where this Chinese dude, they got a method now where they take a, take some rods or something and they curl the dude, the, the, the China man's hair and then they put some spray in it or some shit, let that shit sit for a couple of, couple um hours and shit and and it puffs up and it looks like real 
nappy hair. And I mean, the Chinaman has been, you know what I'm saying, trying to get his hair like ours. Straight up. And I read the comments in the comment section, it's like, man, you know, some of them is cultural appropriation. They shouldn't do that. You know, everybody want to be black, but don't want to be black. But then most of it is, man, that dude look fleet. He on fleet. He lit. So when non-blacks take our culture, culturally appropriate our look, our image, etc., there are a lot of black people that encourage it. Straight up. There's no repercussions on, 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 on taking a black person's culture. There's no repercussions of, of mistreating their women, their children. There's none. Well, I, I'll at least say this. There's no repercussions held in the black community. Straight up. Because we don't give a fuck. We are a race that gets pimped. But then have the nerve to get on wax and talk about how they how we do this and how we we run up and we pull up and we we got the blickies and all of that shit. Where's all of that tough talk when it comes to non-blacks? We got all the smoke when it comes to our race. If I said something that was disrespectful, y'all would be quick to pull up on me. But when Joe Biden says this and the whole world sees it, if you don't vote for me, you ain't black. Black people don't say shit. They got videos circular, cir circulating around the internet of old Joe Biden. How he didn't want niggers going to his kid's school. And y'all still be in line in drones voting for this man. There's a horrific history of the Democrats and blacks. Horrific. And y'all still are Democrats. Whereas back in the days we were Republicans. We have a horrific relationship when it comes to the Democrats. Horrifying. Look up the Wilmington massacres. But yeah, man, it's it's it's, it's ridiculous, man. Black that black people don't hold anyone accountable for whatever they do, the non-blacks do to us, but we hold one another accountable for what we do to one another. That's crazy to me. That's just like some oxymoron shit if you ask me. Straight up, don't nobody wanna be black. They don't have to be. That's real talk. They don't have to be. They could do whatever the fuck they want and there's no, rep, there's no repercussions, none at all. Don't you understand, black people, that you are, the black race is a brand. That's real talk. The black race is a brand. And we should have, we should have been patent, copywritten, our image, our thoughts, everything. Everything down to the melanin in our skin. You know somebody owns the patent to synthetic melanin. But nah, we so we so silly. We we think we so business savvy, and we're not. Cause how we patent and copywritten all of our dance moves, that dab. You know how much money non-blacks made off of that fucking dance move. If we would have patent the that that what they call a fist pump, and it's not. It's either dap or giving per a person a pound. And originally we started off like this, like that. What up, man? And then we did that. Do you know how 
much money we we could have made. All of the dance moves, all of the slang, the ebon ebonics that we use. You remember they used to say for those that are uh, old enough to remember. You know what I'm saying? You remember they said ain't is not a word. Now ain't is in the dictionary, and ain't people use ain't all the time. And finna and all of these country ass slang or New York slang words. I saw in Quantum Mania, for those that looked at the movie, Ant Man was about to um he had he had uh blew up into a giant. And he was about to um he was talking to Kang. And he was like, I thought you said your word is your bond. I was like, what, 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 what? It was like bond, bond, bond. It was echo, bond, bond, bond. I said, where the fuck I heard that before? Oh, the five percenters, the nation of gods and earth, used to say what? My word is my bond. You know how much shit people take from us? But we just give it to them. Here, you can take it, you can take it, you can take it. And you know what these, what, what, what they do? You know what they continue to do? They take our culture, they take our dance moves, they take our inventions, things that we invented and invented, innovated, and they sell that shit right back to us. And we buy that shit like idiots. Fucking idiots. I'm telling you, don't nobody want to be black? Because you don't have to be black. You could pretend to be black. You could be, you could be just like Mark War Warburg. For real. Feel the funky vibrations now. Do 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 do. It's just a feel. Of, come on now, feel it. Oh, he was a rapper back in the days. Marky Mark in the funky band, whatever that fucking bullshit whack shit was. Now he's a big time actor. You see how he pimped our culture and we allowed him to do it. And now, guess what? Some of you all are fans of his shit. Knowing, you know, you're old enough to know that, you know, that, that Marky Mark was, is Mark Warburg. And he denies that he rapped till this day. And his videos are on YouTube. That should be crazy. That should be crazy to me, man. I could go down the line of how many inventions, how many things we created here in America that weren't stolen. I'm not gonna even say culturally, culturally appropriated. You can't culturally appropriate something that was given to you. That, that black people said, here, yeah, you could go ahead, you could take it. Like, I don't even get bad, mad at non-blacks anymore when I see them doing some black shit. I don't. Why? Why would I get mad? We gave it to them. Hip-hop is a billion-dollar industry. It's an industry within itself. It has influenced the world. Why black people still broke, though? Why black people still signing 360 deals? Why hip hop is not owned by black people? Why is it that the average black person can't send his or her child off to college? But you have non-blacks, Caucasians, that are sending his or her daughter off to college with a black man's lyrics all women cause see what black people did was, was some dumb shit you know you you, you, got, you signed a record deal and, and while in the process of you signing your record deal you were so hungry you said fuck it I'll sell everything even my words which is publishing you know how much money people have made off of us? But we claim that we are boss. Get the fuck out of here. We ain't no boss. We say yes, boss. That's what we do. We ain't no real bosses. That's real talk. 
And I'm going to tell you something else too, man. You know, this may be like kind of like off the subject, but I don't support no black owned businesses for what? They put the same, I'll give you an example. If I'm buying deodorant from a black owned business, they put the same bullshit ass ingredients that, that you know, aluminum that's not good for you, you know what I'm saying, for your body, all the rest of that bullshit that non-black put in theirs. What's the difference? You act like buying a fucking black owned, something from a black owned business is, 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 it's like it's, it's, it's going to be some natural shit. It's going to be different or better than the non-black shit. If anything, it's going to cost more. And I know you're going to be like, man, well, you know, the reason why it costs more is because of this, that, so forth, and blah, 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 blah. I don't give a fuck why it costs more. It just always does. Nobody, for real, the consumer doesn't care about that shit. They just know that it costs more. I just know that if I get some, some black-owned, if I buy some black-owned, uh, tissue, toilet tissue, it's gonna cost way more than Scott tissue. And as a consumer, not as a black person, not as a white person, as a consumer, I gotta watch out for my pockets. And then a lot of times when it comes to when it boils down to black owned businesses, your motherfuckers are not about business. Y'all are not business savvy, y'all are not business minded. So get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. And then another thing too is when you buy from a black owned business, what are you investing in? Because the black owned businesses, what they what they invest in, into is the same system that we live in are investing into every day. They buy white cars, white houses. Well, excuse me, cars owned by white people. Houses that's owned by white people, land that's owned by white people. It's not like we are, we got this big ass motherfucking community where we invest in black owned businesses and we're building a Wakanda. What is the purpose of it? Just to put the hands in, in black people's, put money in black people's hands so they can have more jewelry, more cars, more clothes? Contribute more to this system this racist system that we have here in America spelled with three K's man get the fuck out of here man man I'm telling you man I'm black and I don't even want to be black y'all can have my black card I don't, the hair and all the rest of that stuff that image all of that nah 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 y'all can't have that but I'm saying like if this was like you know you remember the Dave Chappelle skit you know the, the 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 Olympics or some shit, and they were giving away Tiger Woods and 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 replace of this person that person. Listen, let me tell you something. I'll give up my black card, China man. If you want to be part of the black community, if the black community can work out a deal where I could go over there in China and, and 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 you can come over here in the black community, I'll be more than happy to give you my black card. Real talk, straight up. Because I'm telling you, as a race, we're lost. Straight up, we're, we're, as a race, we're lost, and as a race, we lost. Ain't that some funny shit? They call it a race? Like, only black people really don't know that this is this is a race? And that we're coming in last every fucking time? That nobody's playing with them? And yes, there's obstacles, 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 hurdles, and, and shit that we gotta leap over to get to, 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 to first or third or second place. A third, uh, fourth place. There it is, but most people don't even know that we're we we're, we're in we're in a race. And that at the end of the day, you everybody being so man, black man, y'all black people kill me. Y'all too religious, too honest. That's the reason why no blacks are winning. Cause they'll do whatever it takes to win the race. Whatever they'll cheat. They'll steal, they'll kill, they'll do it all. Why would you want to be black? Well, you can have everything without being black. Because black people are giving it away. Straight up. They're giving away their race. They're giving away their culture. They're giving away their women. They're giving away their children.
Sometimes you gotta look at it like that though, man. You gotta you gotta take yourself out of the picture and look at it from the outside looking in. And it's like there's no there's there, there's no perks to to helping black people out. I can see like I I give you an example. I give you an example. This is a good example. So black people Let's say black people own hip hop, right? It was exclusively theirs, right? And I wanted to be part of the, you know, the whole hip hop culture, right? So I make a deal with white the, to, to the black people, right? I'll be like, yo, man, listen, what could I do in order that I could be part of the hip hop culture? And black people would say, well, yo, you gotta help fight for our reparations what was due to us for over 400 years. Then I can see, yeah, I might have to do that. You get it? China man, Mexican, you know how many fucking people, they got rappers everywhere. Rappers everywhere. And every time we change up our style, if we rap, rap fast or rap slow, or we do um, trap music and trap use trap beats and all the rest of that shit, Guess what? They all follow behind us. But they don't have to pay. They don't have to do anything. We just give it to them. So there's no, it's pointless trying to help black people out in their time of need. Unless you just be like, man, I really do feel bad for them. Like it's, it's an option. Helping black people are optional. Straight up. It's an option. And then, like, straight up for the woke woke movement, please, there's, if you are helping out black people, there's an ulterior motive or rather an agenda. Because you can make money off of black people's uh, pain, too. You know what I'm saying? You can. You really can. I mean, just ask those uh, lesbians and the white owner of Black Lives Matter. The black lesbians and in, in, in the um a white owner. You can make money off of that. You could you could capitalize off of our pain. That shit is crazy, man. And y'all wonder why I, I don't want to be black. Straight up. And even like Black people can opt out. You can't opt, you can't say that you're not black when the cops pull you over. You know what I'm saying? But even black people can opt out. You know what I'm saying? Like I know Jamaicans and the Caribbean people and Africans will say that they're not black. But guess what? When a cop pull your black ass over, you black. When you go to their judicial judicial system, you're black. Straight up. You can pop that I ain't black. Poppy, you Dominican motherfuckers. I know black poppy. You could pop all that shit within the black race. You know what I'm saying? Within the black community. Cause we so separated and shit. You got some black people saying they Dominicans, they Jamaican, they this and that and so forth. And overall, we're not black. Because that was the title that was given to us by the non-blacks. So in reality, we are not black. But not according to the non-blacks. But even black people don't even want to be black. Even black people don't want to help one another out. So why the hell would you think non-blacks would participate in helping the black helping black people out? Especially when they can take advantage of us. And there'd be no re- repercussions behind it. Straight up. China man, come in your neighborhood, set up Chinese food restaurant. East Arab come in your neighborhood, set up a, 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 um, a corner store, sell you all type of shit that's against their religion. Sell you pork, genetically modified foods, liquor, cigarettes, all types of shit. Overall Asians coming to your neighborhood. 
set up a nail part, a nail salon, beauty supply store. They ain't got to get back to the community. But black people, we hold black people accountable for that shit. Anytime you see a famous actor, a famous rapper, a famous singer, black people will scream out, man, when you giving back to the community? But the China man selling you cat, er, 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 meow, meow. I got the voices, the, the sounds messed up. Cat, meow, meow, and dog, rough, rough. Every fucking day, you order beef and broccoli every fucking day from the China man. You claim that your mama's fried chicken is way better, but you you order fish and chips, chicken and chips every fucking day for the China man, and you don't never ask that man when he giving back to the community. You get your nails did, and I said did, you know what I'm saying? While the while the Asian lady puts a mask over her face because all that shit she's spraying on your fucking nails is acrylic and shit, and it's toxic. You don't never ask that bitch. You don't never ask that bitch at that time. Is she giving back to the community? You don't never, when you go in a fucking corner store and get your white owls. Well, what is it nowadays? It's not even white owls. I don't even know what the fuck. I forgot what the fuck y'all roll up with nowadays. Whatever y'all roll up your blunts with or weed with, you get cigarettes you get taki tater chips and shit you get all this junk food you when you get to the front counter you don't never ask ah, bar. when you giving back to the community man get the fuck out of here man fuck out of here yo I know why black people in the situation that they're in. I know it. It's a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer, man. We allow everybody to walk all over us. And then after that, we bitch and complain. Boy, that's what I call weak. Um, I'm done.